All right, today we're gonna check it out how to make this really cool refracted text effect here in Photoshop. All right, so step one, let's select the rectangle, draw a rectangle like this. Now we're gonna go to the properties. I'm gonna change up the fill to a gradient. I'm gonna go down, type in here zero instead of 90 degrees. And I'm gonna rearrange it, put it to the left, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, make sure they intersect. I'm gonna select both layers, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, press and hold shift to isolate, intersect, and do it again, select all the layers. And again, press and hold shift, select all, press and hold alt, drag it, press and hold shift to isolate, and so on and so forth, until you get to the end like this. And I'm gonna select all of it, press and hold shift, select all the layers, press control T, press and hold shift and bring it in, double click release. And I gotta go to file, save as, I'm gonna type in displacement, make sure it's on Photoshop file PSD format and click on save. I'm gonna delete all these gradients, so I'm left with the background, I'm gonna paint it black, select the type tool, and type in whatever you want. I went with the Akira expanded font. Press Control T, press and hold Alt to scale it up. Position it to the center, double click release. And now we're gonna select both layers with the text and the background. So press and hold Shift, select both, right click and click on Convert to Smart Object. Now let's go to the Filter, Filter Gallery. And we're gonna go to Distort, select the glass. And we're gonna need to change the texture. So I'm gonna need to upload the texture. And here you can see this little button with three lines. Click on Load Texture. And I'm gonna select the displacement file that I saved and click on Open. And it changed up with the gradient lines that we created. And here at the left, we can increase or decrease the distortion. I'm gonna go all the way up. And you can also adjust the smoothness to be smooth or less smooth. I think I like it on 10 and you also can scale it from all the way up to down. Look at this, how good it looks. Actually the minimum, it looks really good. So I'm gonna stick to this, click okay. And this is how I make this a really cool looking special effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.